Thank you, Jesus. He's an awesome God, awesome in this place. Lord, you are awesome in this place. We thank you for your wonderful presence. And as a church, as we uh, partake together of the Lord's table, those of you that are watching us at home as well, join us. You know, I encourage you to join us. Um, those of you that are regularly watching us, we encourage you to have the elements uh, close by, get yourself, you know, arrange for the bread, arrange for wine, um, that you can uh, join us. It's very special to partake of the Lord's table. Yeah, I want to read a passage of scripture from um, John chapter 13. John chapter 13. And many of your Bibles will have the heading, The Lord's Supper. Yes, it would be uh, imposed on this chapter. Now before the feast of the Passover, Jesus knowing that his hour had come, that he would depart from this world, that he would depart out of this world. To the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. I'm going to repeat that. Now before the feast of the Passover, Jesus knowing that his hour had come, that he would depart out of this world to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them. You know, whenever scripture gives you a double emphasis, the weight of eternity is behind it. How he loved them. You can look far and wide, you will never find somebody like Jesus. You will find no leader like Jesus. I was encouraging someone the other day and telling them that as a church, we are foremost to have a relationship with Jesus. What keeps us in church is a relationship with Jesus. What keeps us on fire is a relationship with Jesus. You can look far and wide, you will never find someone like Christ. The intensity of his love. The intensity of his love. This morning the Lord's table is going to remind you of, of the intensity of God's love. Someone this week uh, had shared with me a quote by someone named Steve Besner. I'm not exactly sure what he, do, what he does. Probably involved in the church or a pastor or a teacher as far as I know. So he, um, you know, he came up with this um, quote as he was considering Christ, as he was considering Jesus. He said, sometimes I joke, what would I do if this was my last day on the earth? What would I do if this was my last day on the earth? If I had only one day left. And then he lists a few things he thinks he'll do. Go crazy. You know, go do some, you know, things. And he says, today it hit me. Jesus knew. And he washed feet. Jesus knew and he washed. Jesus, knowing that his hour had come, that he would depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them. He loved them to the end. Not only Jesus washing the disciples, you know, he even washed Judas' feet. You point me to somebody like this. Please show me somebody like this. You know anybody like this? You know, the realities that, that, are, that are happening 
around you every week, every day, right now. There's a battle for your attention. There's a battle for your attention. Right there at the Lord's table. In verse 2 it says, During supper, the devil having already put into the heart of Judas to betray him. There's a battle going on right now for your heart. God is putting something in your heart. And the devil desires to put something in your heart. And like you heard through the worship, choose what the Lord is saying. Choose what the Lord is saying. I don't know what the devil has put in your heart this week or has tried to put in your heart. I hope not a single person is considering what Satan wants to put in our hearts. Not his plan. Not his counsel. No, 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 no. Recognize the one who loves you. He's at your feet. About to wash your feet. Right now. He's spreading forgiveness. His arms are wide open. He says, you do not have to take that route. You do not have to take that route. Judas became the son of perdition because he chose to do it. Remember that. A lot of people have a question about Judas. The entire three and a half year, years he was with Jesus, he had the choice. He kept having the choice. Even to the point where Jesus washed his feet. So today when we are going to partake of the Lord's table, this is a decision we are about to make. We are going to say yes to the one who loves us. Amen. Amen. Church, we are going to say yes to what the Lord has to say. The counsel of God. Yes, Lord, have your way in my life. Wash my feet. Wash me entirely this morning. Tell the Lord, wash me entirely. Here I am, Jesus. Jesus has won the victory. If you're listening to us in your homes, Jesus has won the victory. You do not have to choose the thoughts of your flesh or of the adversary. Choose the thoughts of God. He is right now desirous to wash your feet. Cleanse you. You can close your eyes, church. If there is some filth that you partook in this week, Holy Spirit is explicitly saying, if there is some filth you entertained this week, if you haven't heard me clearly, I'm going to repeat it. If there is some filth you entertained this week, Jesus desires to wash it away. That is not good for you. That leads to death. That leads to death. That filth of sin leads to death. Here I am, Jesus. Lord, here I am. Cleanse me. Wash me. That plan, that scheme Satan has put in your mind. I don't know what it is. Some scheme that Satan has put in your mind. You know what it is? The one to whom the Holy Spirit is speaking right now. Maybe you are at home. Some godless plan. A godless plan. Jesus says no. Jesus says, the Holy Spirit says no. No. That's not the way to go. That's not the way to go. Look at Jesus. Lord, we are before this covenant. This wine that represents the blood of Jesus. And this bread that represents the body of Christ. We look to the cross today. We look to the cross today. Thank you, Jesus. We look to the cross today. That is the source of my salvation. That is the source of my victory. Not my plans, but God's plans. Not my plans, 
but God's plans. Church, say amen. amen. Thank you, Jesus. We choose the plan of God. Today, as I partake, Lord, as we partake of this wine, we are blessed. We are blessed beyond our wildest imaginations. Oh, Lord, things are coming to pass in our future that are so glorious, that are so glorious. Thank you, Jesus. As we partake of the bread, Lord, we are, we are celebrating the hands that form the universe. We are celebrating the hands that spread itself on the cross for our salvation. Yes, Jesus. No one loves me like you. Everlasting love. Only good intentions. Perfect plans. Words of eternal life. This is what Jesus has for you. No, not plans to harm you. It is not plans to harm you. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, but the Lord has prepared for those that are called by God, that are loved by God. Thank you, Jesus. Here I am. And like Peter, we confess, all of me, Jesus, wash me, wash me, have all of me, Jesus, have all of me. Thank you, Jesus. He's the soon and coming King. We declare as we partake of this, Jesus died and he rose, that he, that he rose from the dead. If anyone's listening to us, if you have not given your life to Jesus, this is the time. Whatever you are bringing before Jesus, if it's broken pieces, if it is a broken heart, if it is a broken heart, if it's failed plans, come to Jesus. Jesus, Jesus can restore you. He gives us a hope that does not disappoint. Jesus can restore you. Give your life to Jesus. If anyone is in a state of backsliding, here I am, says the Lord. If you can hear my voice, here I am. If you can hear my voice, come, come. I will give you rest. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This is a cup of blessing. This is a time of blessing. Thank you, Father. Thank you for ministering to us in such a wonderful way. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is a cup of victory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As you drink of this cup and eat of this bread, we celebrate the Lord's death. Amen. The power of the blood of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Schemes of Satan have been crushed underneath the Lord's feet. The God of peace has crushed Satan underneath our feet. Thank you, Jesus. Be blessed, church. Let's party.